this video, we'll take a look at what to do in the event your computer has encountered a virus or has a malicious piece of software installed. I'll show you a number of ways that can help remove this and clean up your computer. The first place you want to start is by opening up a browser and do a search for an application called Arkill. And it's the first link from the results where it says download Arkill from the Bleeping Computer website. So let's click into this. Arkill is a program that attempts to terminate known malware processes so that your normal security software can then run and clean your computer of infections. Here you can see it gives you a number of download options. I'll choose the download now link by bleeping computer. Now this will start the download but you'll see it doesn't take long as it's only a 2 meg file. Once that's finished I'll come out and minimize this window. Open file explorer then go into the downloads folder and let's run the Arkill application. When Arkill runs it will kill malware processes and then removes incorrect executable associations and fixes policies that stop us from using certain tools. And you can see this from the output here how it's checking Windows services, processes, registry and file associations. Once it's finished it will tell you that your normal security programs should be able to run as a lot of malicious software will try and disable security programs so virus scans can't be run. Arkill will also display a log file which saves to your desktop. This shows the processes that were terminated while the program was running. So let's close this. Next go to the bottom right hand corner and click on the up arrow. Right click on the shield for Windows security and go to view security dashboard. I'm going to run a scan using Windows Defender which is the built-in virus and threat protection tool in Windows 10. You want to make sure you have the latest updates so do a check for the latest updates before you run a scan. By default this will automatically do checks in the background for the latest updates. Go to scan options. You have a number of options here and if your computer is infected with a virus then you want to be running a full scan. For the purpose of this demo, I'll just run a quick scan as a full scan can take a long time. This will go off and run a scan of all your files and it will keep you updated on how long this will take to complete. If you have another third party antivirus installed, then go ahead and run a full scan of your computer with this as well. And make sure your virus definitions are up to date. If you find that you can't open Windows Defender and run a full scan of your computer, then you may need to go into safe mode to run this. I'll provide a link in the description on how you can get into safe mode. Once that's finished it will tell you if any threats were detected and if files were removed. Let's close out of this. Next we'll do a search in the taskbar for MRT and select this from the results. This will load the Windows malicious software removal tool which is used to scan for malicious software which has already infected your computer. This tool differs from Windows Defender which runs in the background as real-time protection looking for suspicious activities on your computer in order to prevent a breakout. This is a built-in tool in Windows 10 but if for some reason it's not loading for you you can do a search for Windows malicious software removal tool and download this from the Microsoft site. So to run the tool go to next. You should run a full scan on your computer but for this demo I'll stick with the quick scan option. Select next. So the tool will start scanning your computer for prevalent malicious software and removes anything that it determines is suspect. This may take a while depending on your computer's resources and how many files you have on your computer. Once finished it will tell you if any viruses were detected and also the details of the scan. Here it tells you all the malware types that it's scanned for and will give you the scan results. If it detects a particular malware type then you'll see as you go through the list which one it detected. Select OK and finish to close the application. Let's go into the web browser again and this time I'll do a search for ESET online scanner. This is a free malware scanner that you can use to check for viruses and helps remove them from your computer. Go into the first result here for the ESET online scanner. Here you can see the option for the one time scan so let's click on this. 
This will start the download. When finished, let's minimize this window and go back into our downloads folder and double click on the ESET online scanner. Select the language for your country. I'll stick with the default English settings. Then select get started. I'll accept the terms of use. Okay, now you're ready to use the tool to check for viruses or threats. Let's go to get started. I'll select no to sharing the data collected and I'll disable the feedback settings. Select continue. You should do a full scan of your computer, but for the demo, I'll select quick scan. The ESET tool can detect potentially unwanted applications and move them to the quarantine. Now, potentially unwanted applications might not pose a security risk, but they may affect your computer's performance. It will only quarantine applications that it deems harmful, so you can always release them afterwards if you know that they are a genuine application. I'll enable this for the ESET scan. Now we're ready, go to start scan. This will start to download the system module update required to run the scan. Once that's done, the scan will take place and delete objects that it finds are infected. Once that's done, the scan will take place and delete objects that it finds are infected. This can take a while, so I'll speed up the video. Okay, so that completed and it tells me that no viruses or other infections were found. If infections are found, it will display details here of this. The next tool that we'll use is called Malwarebytes. Open up a browser and I'll do a search for this. Malwarebytes is a tool that's been around for quite a while and is an anti-malware software that finds and removes malware. Let's click into the site. As it's for personal use, I'll click on the free download. That will start to download the Malwarebytes setup executable for this. Okay, that's finished. You can see that the free version detects and removes malware and other advanced threats from your computer and this is what we'll be using the tool for. Let's minimize this window and go into the downloads folder and run the setup file. As it's my personal computer, I'll select this and install. I'll skip the install of the Malwarebytes browser guard extension. So Malwarebytes will start the install on your computer and may take a couple of minutes to complete. So that's finished the install and we'll load the application. Go in to get started. I don't want the premium version so I'll select maybe later. And get started. Okay, so it's ready to run so I'll start the scan now. This will go ahead and check for updates to the application and then scan your computer for threats. I'll speed the video up for this. So that's finished scanning and it will give you a summary of any threats detected and if it quarantined any files. It will also give you a report which you can export if needed. Let's close out of this. And done. And we'll clear these windows as well. The next tool we'll use is called ADW Cleaner. So let's go into our browser and do a search for this. Now this tool is by Malwarebytes as well and is a free program that searches for and deletes adware, toolbars, potentially unwanted programs and browser hijackers from your computer. Let's click into this and select the free download option. That will start the download. Here it gives you a comparison of the two tools that Malwarebytes offer. And you can see that the AddW Cleaner also has advanced adware removal and it's portable as you don't have to install first before using it. Let's minimize this and go into the download folder and run the ADW Cleaner application. I'll select I agree to using the product. So it's a simple GUI to use. I'll select scan now to start the process. This will download the latest database and the required modules before starting the scan. 
So that was a quick scan and completed in 24 seconds for me. No items were detected on the system. If some files were detected, it may quarantine them. And you would see these by going into the quarantine section here. Here you can restore or permanently delete items from your computer. In the log files, you'll see details of the scan that took place. In the settings area, you can select items that can be run under a basic repair process. You can turn on any options from the list available as part of this task. And if you want to exclude items from the scan, just add them to the exclusions folder. So if we go back to the dashboard, I'll run the basic repair option. If it's detected malicious files on your computer, you want to run this option. It will close all processes before running this task and advises you to save any work before continuing. If it's detected malicious files on your computer, you want to run this option. It will close all processes before running this task and advises you to save any work before continuing. When ready to run, select continue. Once it's finished this task, it will tell you how many items were fixed. The initial scan found no issues with the system, hence no items were detected and didn't need to be fixed. Another good tool you can use is a tool called Farbar. I'll go back to my web browser and do a search for Farbar Recovery Scan Tool. And I'll go into the first link here. The Farbar Recovery Scan Tool, or FRST as it's sometimes referred to, is a portable application designed to run on Windows to diagnose malware issues. A very handy tool to run if malware has infected or corrupted system files and you need to diagnose and fix boot issues. I'll select the 64-bit version to download. It's only a 2 meg download, so quick to download. I'll minimize this and go over to my downloads folder. And I'll open the Farbar download. The portable tool will open straight up. It will give you a disclaimer that you can run the software at your own risk. I'll say yes to continue with this. Now before you can use the tool, it will first take a backup of your registry and then check for any updates on the application. Once that's done, it will tell you at the top it's ready to use. It's best to run the application as an administrator, otherwise you may see a warning about this in the text document at the end. So you can see the whitelist area and all items are ticked for registry, services, drivers, processes, internet and one month. I'll also tick the remaining boxes in the optional scan area. Now that's ready, let's select scan. This will now go off and start scanning the Windows registry loading points, services, driver services, known DLLs, drives and all other options that we have ticked. This can take a while to run, so just be patient with this. Once it's complete, it will save the details of the completed scan in the FRST text file and other text files for addition and shortcuts if you selected these in your scan. The details in the text files will outline if any fixes need to take place on your computer and if any files or processes were affected. The addition text file will show details on your account's security center and install programs. The shortcut text file will check all your shortcuts and check the reference links to make sure they are genuine and not infected. If you notice in any of the text files fixes that need to take place, then go back to the application and use the fix option here. So I hope this video helped you out and if a particular tool worked for you then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.